Governor of South Australia and Chairman of the South Australian Multicultural and Ethnic Affairs Commission, the Honourable Kate Ellis, Federal Minister for Early Childhood, the Honourable Jennifer Rankin, Minister for Multicultural Affairs, Mr Stephen Marshall, Deputy Leader of the Opposition, parliamentary colleagues, ladies and gentlemen. I also acknowledge uh, Mr. Christos Marinakis Grievous, Greek Consul General in South Australia, Mr. John Shepalakis, Chair of the Glendie Board, Mr. Tom Lardis, Coordinator General of Glendie, members of the Glendie Committee, leaders of other local Greek organisations, ladies and gentlemen. Kelly Sparrows. <laughs> But I also acknowledge that we gather today on the traditional lands of the Ghana people and we respect their spiritual relationship with their country. It's a great honour and pleasure to be back with you again tonight celebrating this great occasion. Last year's festival was one of the first events that I attended as Premier and I was pleased to be able to share it with the Greek community. Last year, Chairman of the Board, John Chevalakis and his team of volunteers performed miracles to re-establish Glendy as one of South Australia's great cultural festivals. Congratulations to all of you, it was a fantastic effort. And the program this year has got one better. There's something here for everyone. That's what makes this festival one of the highlights of South Australia's multicultural calendar. Glendy, however, is not just this magnificent and many-sided festival. It's also a celebration for all South Australians of what the Greek people have given to the South Australian culture. South Australians from Greece have contributed greatly to our appreciation of the scene and the quality of what comes from it. Greek hospitality has helped mould Adelaide and our towns. Greek understanding of the land and agricultural skills has played a significant role in the development of regional South Australia. So it's fair to say that South Australian culture is now partly Greek. And the Greek thread emerges in so many levels of South Australian life. Greek names are now part of day-to-day -day public life in this state. Michael Angelakis is a famous seafood expert and provider. In our parliaments, we have here my cabinet colleague Tom Kutsantonis, and in Canberra, Steve Georgianis. Jerry Garigas, who recently celebrated 50 years in building and development, is a familiar name throughout our state. And the Chief Justice of the South Australian Supreme Court is Chris Caracas. These are just some of the names, but the story they tell is one of determination, achievement and contribution. They tell us, as Glendy tells us, that the Greek influence on this place the way we all live and make the most of life is here to stay. This festival has become a landmark of what can be done by a determined few. And to that small group of people who got together from the Lions Club of Adelaide and Lennox to raise funds in 1978, I say thank you to Glendy. Thank you on behalf of all South Australians. For more than 30 years you've persevered against many odds including some pretty ordinary weather on occasion. So I know that John has spent more than one Saturday morning returning the tents and stalls of Glendie back to their place after having been blown away by a storm the night before. To all of the performers, I thank you in advance. To all the food store operators, I'm sure the temptations you offer will be irresistible. They certainly will be to me. And to the volunteers and to everyone who's attended tonight, Thank you and enjoy this great occasion we affectionately call Glendie. And can I say in closing, the government's very pleased to support this festival again this year. And I have a cheque with me today for $60,000 from the state government to present the job on behalf of the board. It's now my great pleasure to declare the 2012 Glendie Festival officially open. Sus Caristo. And can I say, I know tomorrow is a very big day for the Greek community, the day when we remember your stand against fascism. So I also say, Zito Ielis. Zito!